Greetings, this is Jesse from Nintendo Dads with a quick sh playing a let's play of Missile Command Recharged from Atari. This is, was, I think, relatively cheap. Like, I think it was maybe two and a half dollars. I'll double check on the eShop. I did pick this up with my own money. And then after I purchased it, we got, I believe we got a review code. So Justin asked for me to uh, make a video of it anyway. So here's my video. If you, if you remember the Arcade Missile Command, you have, you're trying to protect a bunch of cities from a barrage of attacks with, through, through three gunships or gun turrets. And this game does the same thing. When it, when it first has you play, it says push B to fire and B will fire from whatever is the closest one. But if you want to pick which of the three you want to fire, you can use the Y, X, or A buttons for the left, the center, or the right. Let's do a quick look at the options. There's uh, language settings. Not sure what I tried pushing the button on sound and nothing happened. Oh, I think it just turns sound effects on and off, but there's no visual representation on if it's on or off, other than you pushing the button and hearing nothing, or pushing the button and hearing a sound, and then music turns on and off the background music. So I'll play a. I'll play a game, and then I'll talk more about what happens afterwards. This is actually kind of roguelike-ish, light-ish, and I'll explain after I play a game. Just, just like the original game, when your missile lands on a s where you're aiming it, it'll have an expanded area of effect. And if it land, if an if enemy lands anywhere in that while it's in the expanding or decreasing radius, then it'll take damage. It'll have its own explosion, and you could cause chain reactions. There's also power ups, like Mega makes a larger blast radius. If you're used to the arcade, another thing you'll notice is you can't just ram, you know, make multiple shots out of the same base. But there, because there's a cooldown. And a, instead of it being wave based like the arcade was, it's just infinite. So there's no. Sorry. So there's, in the arcade, there was a, a finite, oh, that's a new power-up. That is convenient. So before there was, it was wave-based and you had a finite number of shots. And you got bonus for unused ammo. Here it's, there's no ammo limit. Ooh, slow down time. Have one city left. And that's it. Okay. First I'll show the leaderboard. So my high score is 5,500, which is still in the top 166, which tells me probably not a lot of people have bought this game. I don't, and I don't know if the leaderboards, um, uh, if our cross console 
my guess is not. But then the other thing to, to see is upgrades. I'm not sure exactly if it's one to one or thousand to a thousand, but at the end of game of each round, you'll get some points to spend, and you can see I've already upgraded my my uh, arsenal to the th level three of everything. So if you notice, when my my guns were destroyed, they were rebuilt because that's one of the power ups is they can be rebuilt. Up to three times, speed increases is, increases the speed of the bullet from the from the turret to its to, to the reticle. Reload inc increases the re or decreases the reload time and power. I don't know if it's a wider but a wider radius. I'm not 100 percent sure. But here I will finish maxing out my reload and I'll apply the rest of the points to rebuild. And I'll do a restart, and so it plays the game again, but now I've got... That's going to miss. So now I have the the increase... Reef. Well, that was a waste of a bomb. I have the, the enhanced level 4 reload time. Probably hard to tell the difference between level and level, but if I were to like reset myself and play a level one again, I'd probably would really notice it. lost a bunch of cities and a turret at the same time. Alright, that was less good. Now if I go to upgrades, I'll have more points to spend. I guess it is point for point. So now I should be able to rebuild more often. I'll play one more time. And every time you increase a level, the, num the amount of points required to get to the next level goes up. I think it was like only a thousand points the first time through, and there you saw there was ten thousand for level four, and then like twenty-two thousand for level five. I guess the power-ups do change while they're in flight. Ah, I just missed... lost that. Now I have to try to wait for the turrets to rebuild. And that one rebuilt and I lost it. Fifth. 
See, the, the thing with power-ups is you're supposed to get better scores every time you play, and I've, I've been getting worse scores in the three games that I've been playing. I can't fire this yet, and I'm going to lose it. Yeah. Well, that's Missile Command. The, that's pretty much the game, and it's just the, it, the more you can survive, the harder the game gets, and the higher the score you can get. Let us know what you think. Thanks for watching.